Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know, it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about microtransactions getting more aggressive on next-gen consoles for NBA 2K21 and the reasons why. As you guys can see behind me, it says, nearly all of our titles outperformed in the fourth quarter, including NBA 2K21, first on the list. I got to tell you guys that our experience as gamers does not translate to 2K or visual content concepts or take too interactive it doesn't translate to them from from their perspective they're doing absolutely amazing breaking records and i need you guys to understand what's going on here microtransactions are going to get more aggressive in nba 2k21 especially on the next gen consoles for you guys to, to better help you guys understand why they're going to get more aggressive I'm gonna show you guys the numbers. So right here, you're looking at the fiscal fourth quarter 2020 financial highlights, man, because I want you guys to see the net revenue and understand, I'm just gonna read this off for you. The GAAP net revenue grew 41% to $760.5 million as compared to $539 million last fourth quarter. So I need you guys to understand that huge increase and it doesn't translate to our gaming experience because we received so many patches and the game was somewhat unbearable this year. But from a business perspective, they are doing absolutely amazing, breaking records, increasing their net revenue. And I need you guys to see this. Recurring, this is the main part. And mind you, this is the second sentence in this paragraph describing their financial highlights. Recurrent, consumer spending which generate which is generated from ongoing consumer engagement and includes virtual currency i need you guys to understand add-on content in-game purchases increased 40 percent can you guys imagine that do you think that like from our gaming experience with NBA 2K20, that their numbers would have skyrocketed like that, increased 40%, and it accounted for. This is the big deal right here. This is why microtransactions are gonna get more aggressive in the next-gen consoles for NBA 2K21. It's because of you, and it's because of me. Players out there making in-game purchases, it accounted for 54% of their net revenue. So that's more, you're talking about what they bring home. All of their revenue came from you and me. Somebody who's making a small in-game purchase for VC to buy clothes or whatnot, whatever it is. You wanna buy a mascot, you wanna buy a hoverboard, you wanna buy a bike, you wanna make, you wanna upgrade a new player. You're just paying their light bill. You're paying their mortgage. You're paying for their new car, their new house. You are paying for that with your little purchase on NBA 2K. And what that amounts to is take two interactive, just blowing the competitors away, taking a bigger stronghold, a monopoly in basketball gaming because of you and because of me. There's people out there who are just spending so much money in my team and our microtransactions and that's only going to mean that in NBA 2K21 the microtransactions are going to get more aggressive because there's no way that NBA 2K Take 2 Interactive is going to sacrifice that 40% increase you got to understand what these numbers mean if your consumer spending your recurrent consumer spending is leading to 54% of their total net revenue this means that you're spending after you purchase the game is making them more money than the actual unit sales so if, if you got to understand if microtransactions are making more money for 2k than the actual sale of the game this is why the game is free. This is why they, they are giving the game away for free because they know that 54% of their net revenue comes from you purchasing VC for whatever reason you wanted to buy it for. So for you guys to understand that if we want some level of change with microtransactions, we're gonna have to change the way we approach the franchise. We're gonna have to change the way in which we spend and the reasons we spend because 2k needs to make
make a dramatic change. They said there was gonna be a dramatic change, and that 2K21 is gonna be um is gonna be built from the ground up. Well, we better see a change, and if not, we need to we as a community need to make sure that we get a better hold on how we conduct ourselves with these tr microtransactions. Otherwise, it's just gonna continue to get way more aggressive. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel as we're gonna have a ton of NBA 2K20 content and we're also gonna have a ton of NBA 2K21 content. I'll catch you guys on the next video.